Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about Fulfillment Center. It is also known as Order Fulfillment Center or Fulfillment Warehouse. So let's begin our session. So first, what is Fulfillment Center? In short, it is also called FC. So it is a part of supply chain where incoming orders are received, processed and shipped to the customer. Customer could be B2C or B2B. It is a type of warehouse which has some more functions than typical warehouse. Typical warehouse also known as storage warehouse. So in typical warehouse, we, we only you know store the items or inventory. Apart from that, the, the typical warehouse is not used for the shipment or delivery of the orders. So now we will see what all operations are performed at Fulfillment Center. First one is the inventory management. So Fulfillment Center take care of the all the management related to inventory like or we can say routine counting of the inventory, keep the track of uh, how, how, how much inventory is left, how much we need to order. Whenever the Fulfillment, fulfillment Center receives the inventory they need to you know perform the receive and put put away of those of those items so it is all these uh, you know things are done uh, with the help of a software called warehouse management system so that keeps track of all these available entry and how much you have ordered so so this kind of things are managed with the help of the WCMS in short warehouse management system and inventory management is one of the important function which is performed by the fulfillment center the second is pick so pick is uh, is the process of picking the item from the rack or shelf so when fulfillment center receives an order from the website they start this process picking the item from the fulfillment from the racks the second is pack once they get the item from the racks they pack that item then they generate the shipping level they put the shipping level on that container and the then they ship that item with the help of the courier service so this pick pack shipping level generation and shipping this is uh, the you know very much important action of the order fulfillment process the next is personalization so in many of the cases uh, where business have some extra features on the website like they are uh, you can, customer can write some note while purchasing on purchasing the order you know some gift wrap to note to someone whom that particular customer is gifting the order so on, in those cases like uh, there are some personalization is used so those kind of things also taken care by the fulfillment center like to create a, a written note and they can keep the and also if somebody wants to get particular pack or uh, orders packed in a different way then they can put the instruction in the while placing the order or they can call the service desk to make that uh, to make the order packed in a certain way so these kind of personalization also taken care by the fulfillment center uh, the next one is return handling so return is also taken care by the and it is one of the important also it's not only placing an order uh, is an important process but return is also important to to keep the customer satisfied so return is also handled by the fulfillment center uh, whenever customer initiate a return from the website they the fulfillment center get the notification that the customer has initi initiated this return so fulfillment center inform the courier service with the return details courier service will visit the customer and get the parcel and will courier service will transfer send that parcel at the warehouse once the sorry at the fulfillment center we can say once the fulfillment center get the order they inspect that do perform some quality check once that parcel is you found that is it is parcel is okay 
they are going to make that part of the inventory and they will update the inventory they will initiate or they will share the communication with the uh, we can say order management system to initiate the refund so many of the things are done automatically at the uh, fulfillment center now next is the kitting and assembly process so it is uh, it is not every time it is used but in many of the cases uh, it is used and important activity which which could be performed at the fulfillment center and also at the production facility or manufacturing facility so let's take a look uh, what it is kitting and assemblies are the different term in kitting you know different items are put into the in the same box or the same container but in assembly we create a new item or we can say new product like laptop assembly and kitting is like you have a brush and collet you are putting in the same box or you have some other item in the same you know so it is a process of putting the different item in a in a box and assembly is the process of creating a basically a product from the different items so the purpose of kitting is to to basically keep the set ready before customer place an order so that once the fulfillment center receives an order they can ship it as soon as possible it is not valid for a regular order because we cannot predict like what customer is going to place so it is valid this kind of kitting and assembly is done for those items for which the combination already know like when promotion are going on when you know offers are going on so like in offers if custom, you know if you are going to buy these two items you, you will get the 50% off so for those cases customer business can keep the you know box already ready with those items so like uh, combo products so it is not uh, it is not something which is uh, which can be done with every order now we will see what uh, how the fulfillment center works in the supply chain here i have created one design of the so you can see black arrows red arrows and blue arrows black arrows showing the customer flow uh, you know forward journey the when customer is placing an order and red is showing the return journey when customer is returning particular order or item and blue is showing the material movement or inventory movement so let's begin with the supplier and the fulfillment center you can see here this is the fulfillment center and it is get it is interacting with the warehouse in the blue arrow with the order management system in red and black and also the with the shipping service so let's start with the supplier so you have here two supplier supplier 1 and supplier 2 one supplier is you know sending the raw material to the production facility and another sending the finished good to the warehouse so in this supply chain so basically business is having in house production facility and they are also ordering from the outside once product is ready they ship the item to the warehouse so warehouse is keeping the stock of all the items here from the production facility which are getting from the production facility and from the supplier from finished good in this particular flow so based on the you know requirement based, based on the requirement of fulfillment center the warehouse send the item to the fulfillment center or based on the planning of the business and the customer warehouse send the item to the fulfillment center so let's see uh, suppose uh, let's see the customer journey now here and this uh, sorry this uh, item movement is done with the help of the logistic system or, or the transportation system now let's see the customer journey customer means when customer is placing an order so, so we need to follow the black arrows here then so we need to focus on the now black so here the customer is visiting a site and uh, customer has placed an order once the order is placed the website system sends the order to the order management system order management system share the details with the fulfillment center so basically order management system share the pick list with the fulfillment center 
once the fulfillment center get the pick list they start the order fulfillment process means they the operation we, which we have discussed earlier like picking of the order packing shipping label generation then the contact they contact the shipping service fulfillment process is done and the customer the you know particular parcel is ready for the pickup this shipping service person will come here and will get the order from here and will send the order to the here customer so now this particular journey is finished this is called the forward journey in return journey suppose customer has uh, created and written let me take the highlighter so this is the red arrow you need to follow the red arrow suppose customer has raised and written a request on the site the return request you know details will be shared to the oms order management share the details to the fulfillment center here you can see this red arrow and then they will share the fulfillment center team will share the information with the shipping service shipping service will visit the customer place and get the item and then will shipping service will share the item through the or will send the item to the fulfillment center once fulfillment center receives an item then they are going to perform the quality check if that item is okay they are going to update the inventory also they are going to inform the order management system so that the the refund process can be initiated so this is the return journey and one more thing the order tracking this is how the fulfillment center works in the supply chain so the important point is to keep in mind is all these integration like fulfillment center is talking to the warehouse talking to the old order managing system and talking to the shipping service courier service so these are the integration point uh, for the fulfillment center and also whatever action is performed with the order that is updated in the order man order management system from the fulfillment center the item has been shipped then the the warehouse management system will update the you know status in the warehouse in the fulfillment center as shipped and also the same information will 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 be shared with the order management system when when the order is delivered the shipping service will share the information with the uh, fulfillment center that item has been delivered and uh, that information will be updated in the warehouse management system and same will be shared from the fulfillment center to the order management system so when customer will track the order uh, they are on the website they are going to get the information from order management system like whether item has been shipped or where it has been reached so for when it is moved from one place to another like from fulfillment center to shipping cent you know service or so so at every place the item is scanned and that information is updated in the system that's the reason when we track our parcel we see like the item has been shipped from that particular location now it has been it has reached to particular location so whenever the item is reaching reaching at particular location the that item is scanned and the information is updated in the system so this is how the real tracking of the order happen so this is all about how the flow works in the supply chain and uh, and also like i have only created one fulfillment center and one warehouse here so it depends on the what uh, what kind of business we have if business is big or you know very large business it is across the country or outside the country then the number of fulfillment center and warehouse can be varies from one to any number based on the requirement so that it the business can cover the area that whole country or even outside the country and they can ship the order as soon as possible to any location in the world or in the in, inside the country so that depends on the business needs and requirement we can design the you know we we make we make the change in the supply chain design so here different different parties you can see the supplier you can see the shipping service you can see in the order management system warehouse production facilities right so these all these are interconnected to each other and if we say like what supply chain is it is the flow of the 
flow of the item the inventory flow of the basically information flow of the the money or we can say payment right information is getting flowed from one system to another so that every system is updated you know item is moving from supply to production facility production facility to warehouse warehouse to fulfillment center with the help of logistic system money is tra transferred like when customer is placing order they are going to like uh, the money is also flows in the system when the it refund is initiated the money is also flows in the system or we can say payment so this is how the three things uh, flow in the system which are the basic of uh, supply chain we will see in the coming videos uh, that also so this is uh, all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video